Hello, my name is Dr. George Machaki, and welcome to uh, Introduction to Business offered by the College of Lake County. We're starting week uh, four. This week, if you notice, uh, this is just a quick overview. I'm going to try to keep it under 15 minutes. Uh, this week, what uh, you've noticed that we're going to be doing uh, uh, three chapters, chapter seven, eight, and nine. So that's basically leadership, adapting organization, which is a learning organization, and uh, producing uh, a, a world-class good. And world-class good, if you're looking at producing world-class good, it's basically set up more for like for operation management. But if you look at my lectures, uh, uh, how you have to view this, it takes the same process and evaluating as a manufacturing that comes in and goes out, only we're looking at process improvements. How many people are doing the same task? Or how do I uh, transfer to the next task? Like an assembly line, only uh, what we call process uh, improvement, okay? And my full lectures are on there. So let's talk about what happened last week. Last week you had a discussion and you had your, um, uh, uh, in a water cooler. And the discussion, very active. If I look at the discussion for last week, uh, weekly discussion, <coughs> I think um, uh, we had uh, like 19 students, I think 20 students, and, uh, and uh, uh, very interactive. I got 202 polls. That's a lot of reading. Just remember, when you're looking at my discussion boards, whether you're doing the water cooler discussion, which I throw in every now and then, is just uh, for you to uh, uh, vent or uh, any questions you may have, or the regular discussion uh, uh, board, uh, you are still required to look at everyone else's uh, posting. You don't have to re apply to everyone. S some do, and I uh, give some extra points for those who are very active within the discussion board. But at work, I, I get a lot of emails. I get, I think, between uh, College Lake County and my own uh, personal email and business email and um, uh, uh, Harper College where I also teach, I may hit daily maybe 130 emails. I look at all of them. I glance, I don't have to respond to them. I just have to know what's going on. Those that catch my attention, I look at. Same thing with the discussion board, especially when you're working with a network or at work. Remember, uh, the task I want to teach you here in this class is not only um, tasks that you uh, need to, uh, to learn the subject matter, but also the skill sets, how you will be uh, active and promotable within the business. Um, I don't hire individuals to be wallflowers. To sit there and you know don't say nothing. You know you do your task, you do anything else, then you're uh, uh, an average, mediocre type of an employee. I'm looking for the individual who gives me input, not the complainer who comes up with resolutions. That's what I call a problem solver. Remember, uh, if I just complain all the time, I, I get that thing. I'm a non-team player. I am a uh, complainer. What's the difference between the complainer and the problem solver? I still have a complaint because the something's not working well. I identified that as part of a leadership ability, but then I also have a solution. The company doesn't have to take the solution, but you see what, I, what you've done. You actually provide a solution. So if you come into the room and say, hey, it's cold in here. Why don't you fix something? You're the manager. Okay, it's a complainer. It's cold in here, but you know what? I contacted uh, a building and services, and they said they'll adjust uh, the temperature and check it out. That's a, a solution. That's a problem solver. Okay, so you you did well on those, but you're still required to read them. Uh, same thing with the discussion. Uh, so the okay, so those are all right. And the, the discussion board going forward, you will not see anybody else's postings until you first uh, uh, your first posting to me. I think the discussion boards were at uh, ten points. Uh, so when uh, you first post to me, uh, you'll get four points for responding to me, four or five points depending on the not how many times. Uh, you know, on the, the quality. I'm looking not for one paragraph, I'm looking for a few paragraphs. So I, uh, so I, as a reader, pretend you're sending this to your supervisor or your boss or someone you want to impress. Would you just say, yep, I, I agree with this? What the heck does that tell me? Give me those substance. Most of you are doing very well. You know, we're already going in week uh, uh, four. Now, for those, uh, now, this discussion board, let's see, so what do we have? So now we're going to have, uh, uh, okay, now the water cooler was very interesting because uh, uh, some of you assisted others on it. Some of you had some uh, very uh, uh, questions that uh, you might have missed it in my orientation or some of my weekly, uh, uh, like this podcast, for lack of better words, or YouTube. Uh, but what I basically did... Uh, uh, I responded more in detail so you understood it. So those of you who didn't have any questions, and then you should at least look at it. Oh, I didn't think about that question. Or oh, now it just uh, does a clarification. Because uh, remember, if I responded to a question next week and you asked me the same question, 
I'll say, hey, I already responded to that, just like in the classroom. You have to be interactive. That's why I said you have to at least log in three times in a week and listen to somebody else's. So you might have done your posting and everything else, but hey, I could help someone. That's how you build a network. That's how you build a collaborate, uh, a learning and business environment where you're helping each other out. And that's what your supervisor and the leader is looking for, for new leaders of potential. Just because I know, remember, to be a good leader, you have to be a good follower. Okay. So we've got that. So let's see what we have for week four discussion. Now, week four discussion is going to be a little different. I'm going to go on. You're going to post it by uh, 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 Wednesday and due by uh, Saturday midnight. Because then Sundays, I want you to uh, complete your exams and, uh, and whatever home and your learn smarts. Okay. Uh, you will have two videos and you'll uh, uh, have two assessments that I want you to uh, uh, complete. When I make you do the assessments, so let's go into the weekly assignments. Okay. Let me go in here. Uh, weekly homework assignment you won't see this because it's not open yet it won't be open till midnight remember i open up the assignment sunday midnight and close uh, on uh, uh, sunday midnight all right okay so here's the assessment you, your first post you're going to be doing three chapters and remember just a 16 week class condensed into uh, uh, 12 weeks <coughs> excuse me so uh, uh i'm trying to get uh, trying to go through some of the chapters that are uh, fairly easy but, you, you know, it's part of your uh, major paper, but not to the extent where you, uh, it's manageable. And because remember, next week we have one more, uh, week five, and then week six, you have spring, uh, well, consider it in that week, you have spring break, and then you're coming back. Okay, so just remember, it's a 16-week course uh, condensed into 12 weeks. So you have to do a little extra in a shorter t time of period, but you had the other four weeks that you were relaxing. I'm just kidding, all right? So we're going to go into week four. Always look uh, what's required. Here's the, uh, the YouTube. Uh, this is from last semester. I'll get rid of this one and we'll replace it with, with the one I'm doing right now. <coughs> you have an exam. I know you just finished an exam last time. Last week you did an exam. I think mostly it's, I have A, Bs. I got a majority of them are uh, you know, in, in the 90s, which is really good. That's uh, you know, A minus or an A. So I had a couple that uh, maxed the exam, got 100. I got a couple Ds uh, and a couple of Cs and Bs, which is good for your first exam. You know, I've got the lecture. And remember, uh, McGraw-Hill has a thing where you go back in there into the homepage of McGraw-Hill and you could do a pre-testing to prepare you because they basically pull from the same test bank. Okay, so this one's going to be open. It's going to be open again uh, from Sunday. And again, but I gave you a little bit more time because I know it's a little, you know, three chapters. You just had one exam. And then you'll have like a couple of weeks before you have the next exam. I just have to put, I have to, uh, 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 by the department, I have to have four exams and one final exam. All right, and the final exam will be comprehensive. They'll cover everything. Uh, so I'm preparing you, and I'm pre preparing you at the time and the question. You'll do well. So I gave you a little more time to work on that. You've got your learn spark. Right, you've got your discussion board uh, by Wednesday. You got to look at the two videos, and then you also have to do two easy assessments. So here, before you go into this, you go into the assessment. You click on there. Now, when I look at the assessment, the assessment was a corporate preference. And if I'm looking at, they talk about the. Uh, do I like the, some corporations are very performance oriented? Some are more uh, like control oriented. Some are more relationship. Most of you in uh, in uh, retail are more relationship. But one thing to remember is that through the assessments, even though you may score higher, I just want which ones you scored the highest. And some may score it evenly. That's what I'm really, uh, you know, uh, that's good. There's nothing wrong with that. So you scored high. But what I want to understand, even if I'm a control type of uh, 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 corporation, that's my, my core, I still have to have the relationship. I still have to have the performance. I have to, you know, uh, the other, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, 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 for lack of better words, uh, 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 the preferences are still required in all businesses. Only one may be more. You know, if I'm strictly customer service as a consultant, I'm very relationship building because that's how I build my relationship. Instructors, the more relationship type building to connect with their student base. Consultants do the same thing. You know, and as a leader, part of the leader, I could be a very controlled type of leader, very autocratic, you know, good or bad, but then I still have to be able to build a relationship and pull the team together. And you look at those in coaching, you know, the coach could be real, we got to get this done, but he still brings, he, he still has that relationship uh, side. Then he's looking at performance. What are the numbers? Are you caught on the team or are you sitting on the band events? Like it or not, 
but it depends on the emphasis that he or she puts on. So you have that, and then the other one is, uh, uh, do you have what it takes to be a leader? When you're looking at a leader, whether I'm doing a department head, <coughs> or something with an organization, there's a, a certain attributes. What you'll notice is from your entrepreneur that you did last time, that the same skill set, self-starting, um, uh, I'm not afraid of uh, taking risks. Uh, uh, you know, you talk about. I don't care if people laugh at me. You know, you know, uh, people can laugh at you no matter what. You know, you know, there's no way around. It. Look at our president. They make fun of our president, but he's a strong leader. Whether you like him or not, he has his way. And I know a lot of times I just throw that in. You know, because uh, 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 part of the diversity. When you look at diversity, you look at individuals, and I'll, I'll put this in this class. You look at individuals uh, by skin color. You know what I mean? So you say, "Hey, George, you're." Uh, and I look at my one of my. Uh, 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 son-in-laws, you know, the divorce now with my uh, with my uh, daughter, but he was from Jamaica. So you know, you, know, you talk to him. He says, "I'm Jamaican." You know, he's not African American. I'm Jamaican. That's his quote, even though his skin color is a person of uh, of color. So the same thing with me. You look at me. He says, "Well, you're this." You know, I was born in uh, Germany. You, you know what I mean? Uh, so I, I am I European. But you know what I mean? So when I'm looking at diversity, if you're only looking at ethnicity, that's one way of diversifying a population. The other thing you have to look at when you're looking at diversity, you're looking at ideology. So are you a conservative? Are you a liberal? Are you a socialist? Are you a communist? Those are different kind of ideology. And those are, have to be also part of the diversity when we're looking at a leader. You can't, and, and, and also, you know, so I'm looking at ethnicity. It's really easy, color, race, and everything else, to put them in that. But then I have to look at diversity. Uh, when I was in uh, sales, uh, working with ComEd, they had uh, construction individuals, they had engineers uh, uh, in my position, superintendent. They had, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, customer service individuals. They had <coughs> electrical engineers. They had mechanical engineers. They had accountants. You know what I mean? Strictly full, full mannequin. Now, you've got the diversity by the ethnicity, but you also have the diversity by different disciplines, and then you have to have diversity by ideology. That makes a diverse type of organization. And if you look at a lot of colleges, I hate to say it, uh, you know I mean? They're, they're, they're uh, more leaning to one way or the other, so you have to have that diversity within that. As a leader, that's what makes your uh, organization strong, not only by... Uh, uh, by um, what do you call it? Um, and I'll drop it at that. Okay. So you're going to look at that. So now let's look at this. I'm going to take this one. The leadership. You have a leader, and you got to do a, a quick flash. It's just a program I have. Real quickly, I would print it out. Now, when you're looking at this, just tell me what your score is. You know, begin. Uh, you know, see, so begin. You look at the leader. Uh, uh, you know, can I separate my personal life from my school life? <coughs> you know, answer the question how you really feel. Now, when I look at these assessments, uh, I'll teach uh, uh, human relation, HR. A lot of companies want to make sure they have the right individual that fits into the, to the culture of the company. Almost like eHarmony, I want to find the right mate. And same thing with a corporation. You've got the, the technical skills. You've got this, right? Now, do you have the ideology or that uh, um, uh, leadership quality or that... Uh, 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 for lack of a better word, that focus on more focus on control or relationship when I bring you in because that's the culture that I have and I want to maintain that culture or I'll bring someone else in with not only, when I'm looking at not only ethnicity but different kind of ideology to uh, uh, change that culture for a new direction. Remember, because I teach organizational behavior in middle school and how do I change culture? Culture changes over time, okay? And now we've got a big culture change with uh, uh, with our current president, for lack of a better word. And you know, and I deal with students uh, uh, when Mr. President Trump was elected, and they're all nervous and everything else. But that's fine. I said he's the leader. You know what I mean? What do you like? The, the, you might like me as an instructor. You might like another boss as an instructor. But he or she's in that position, and you just have to figure out. Here it is. How could I make this? A benefit to me. What can I get out of this leadership or learn on that leadership for me? And remember, most business people, those of you who are from uh, uh, in school and you're working, you're moving up with a corporation, they're very right to the point. When I do consulting, people don't want to hear all this fluff and that. Oh, you look real good. Hey, they're paying me cash. What's wrong? Eh, you got to lose weight. You got to do this. You got to cut the uh, waist here. This is a non productive. They want right to the point. And I think that's what our current president, he's very blunt and to the point because he's a business person. Uh, all right, very relationship. If you look at some of the uh, the organizations that he managed, he can't manage all those companies and hotels and not have a relationship uh, uh, with his uh, his or her employees. 
Remember? And I'm tying this in with leadership, looking what's out here now and what's on uh, in there. So you just have to adjust to, like you're adjusting to my style, uh, taking an online class versus another instructor taking an online class. And then the corporate preference. Again, print it out. And remember, this is only the short, Maybe a very mini type of uh, assessment. So if you didn't score well, oh my goodness, I'm not a leader. Don't worry about it. You remember? Because what happens is, uh, uh, I'm just giving you just a taste. A lot of companies use this to make sure they get the right individual. Okay, so we've got that. So let's go back in here. You got to you know, print it out, and then you'll uh, post in there. I got a five. I got a fifty. I got a seventy. I'm a leader. And then inside your uh, uh, discussion board. You write a little, uh, uh, write a paragraph, and do you agree with the uh, uh, with the assessments or not? And then the next thing I want you to look at. I want you to look at. Uh, okay, so you're in here discussion board. There's two videos, and there's two different types of le uh, leadership. Uh, videos uh, comments for part two, and uh, I should change it. So these are the two videos. Mm -hmm. Okay, you come in here. You have one bully broads, and this was back from uh, 2011. It's an older one, you know. So you figure it's already about eight years. But bully broads are more, you know, and I'm focusing more on women, because more women are coming into the managerial position. I'll teach a class on leadership in another school, or sometimes a management class, and I have more women. How do women? Do you like to work for a woman manager or a male manager? Do you like a male uh, uh, instructor or female? Depends on the exposure you had with that. Uh, uh, a class of individuals, but we're just going to talk for, for more women coming up. Now you look at bully broads. I don't write up the, I don't come up with the titles, and this was from another uh, uh, a publisher. Uh, it, it's out there on YouTube. So bully broad is more of an uh, autocratic type of a uh, woman. <coughs> look at her skill, only five minutes, and you may relate. For some, some organization higher level that may work well. All right, and then she went to, uh, 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 but, you know, so keep an open mind, look at this, and uh, understand that at that time when women were coming up at the higher level, who were their mentors? Usually a mentor is someone that walked the same path, and since there were fewer women at the top and more women coming up, the mentor most likely to be a man. So when I have a male manager, he or she, I got different characteristics. Like it or not, is just my embedded characteristics by society or, uh, but you know, biology or whatever. So I may be a little more assertive, a little more to the point. Where the female uh, uh, taking those were supposed to be more nurturing. Look, look I'm not stereotyping. I'm generalizing because remember, I'm a market man. I got to generalize certain category. When you go to uh, a class, you expect your instructor to be prepared a little bit more professional than you would a regular student. When you look at a manager, you, ex you, you have this vision, this uh, facade, this uh, generalized feeling of how a manager should act to you. Okay? Okay, so look at that one. So then the next one you, you'll have, and you know, and it's, it also pertains. So when you look at this, it's all bad. You went to charm school. Me as a gentleman, I had to go to school to be a little more kinder, a little more receptive, more relationship. I just get this damn thing done or go this way. Remember? So you're learning. <coughs> now this other video is why do we have fewer uh, women uh, uh, leaders? And this is uh, uh, Shirley uh, Sandberg, and it's one of the TED productions. I like using her on that. Now, this is a contrast. This is more of a participative type of man, uh, a woman leader. Still, there is that, uh, you know, when you look at wage gap, and they both, uh, this one here talks about wage gap. Wage gap has, a, uh, you have to look at it a little different. When you look at comparable work, comparable work, there's kind of a, um, uh, uh, thing I can't grab on. If you and me, I'm a male and you're a female, and we have the same title, we and I got, we both get the same pay. When you look at comparable work, you're looking at comparable work in an action uh, as um, uh, uh, different industries because it's all grouped in together. You know, uh, how much does a woman make over a man over a, a certain period of time? A lot of women, as you know, well, she'll explain how to handle this, uh, will, uh, uh, you know, have babies. I can't have babies. So they may drop out of the workforce for a couple of years or months or a year. And so she, they miss that opportunity for promotion because they're uh, raising a child. There's nothing wrong with that. That is the, uh, you, you, I wish, you, you know I mean? That is just, uh, uh, the fiber of uh, society as far as I'm concerned. 
to bring up that child so uh, it's nurtured, you take care of him or her, and you give him your values and everything else. So it's hard for you know a guy, a little different. Not saying all guys, I'm generalizing. I may say, okay, uh, uh, it's easier for me to kind of leave or, or something. Or you have a different bonding because uh, you carried that baby for uh, nine months. I'm not getting into you know uh, into anything, but so understand that. So what's going on? So when you look at comparable work, they're looking at. Uh, 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 pay overall. They're not looking equal pay for there because there is no uh, issue that we got the same title. So if you look at uh, uh, someone that's driving a garbage truck for waste management, they may be making, I got a friend that's driving waste uh, in Chicago, uh, 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 a garbage truck, he's considered a, a sanitation engineer, but then he does, uh, they also do uh, snow plants. So they may come in with maybe 75000 a year or plus depending on, on the weather, you know, with the overtime. Where I have another person that's in nursing has a master's degree, and she may be pulling in uh, maybe sixty thousand. So if you look at a comparable work, well, he's making more. If society wants to pay more for that, uh, do you see what I'm talking? So uh, don't look at the uh, equal pay. If you got the same job and doing the same tasks and the same title, uh, uh, there's no issue. So the comparable, work, and you could take that in some of the other uh, courses. I'm just giving you a general. So what she's saying here, if you look, uh, real quick in the video, because I won't be able to explain that. <clears throat> is to make sure that you set up to the table, raise your hand, and when you do know that you're going to leave for maternity or everything else, still be active so you don't lose those promotions and uh, uh, everything else. Because a lot of people, uh, look at the video, you, you'll see that she'll say, uh, I'm going to have a baby, so I start thinking, so I'm not asking for those assignments because I'm trying to fit in how do I raise a child and keep my career. Now, gentlemen, Remember, you share the uh, the responsibility now. The other thing you have to look at is a lot of uh, individuals, whether you're married or uh, living together, uh, 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 you look at, you know, you, you're in a long-term relation. Which person, if I get a promotion, I have to move, will the other one follow me? Let's say I'm married. Will she follow me? Or does it, she always has to follow the husband? No, it's not necessarily. When you look from an economic perspective, look at a partnership as I would a business partnership. She has a higher potential of making a, a higher earning than I will. I will follow her. Or, or she, or uh, I have a higher potential. She should say, okay, we'll go with your career. Which career, you know, because you're a partnership. It doesn't make a difference. It's a different st uh, uh, stream of money. The other thing you're looking at, women and managers making more than their husband, certain cultural differences. Uh, and I'll just use uh, 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 Hispanics. And I don't want to, you know, because it's a big general title. But because I had one uh, lady in my class and says, Dr. George, don't ever call my home because my husband does not know that I'm going to college. I said, why? He said, because I can't be smarter than him. First generation. Remember when I talked about culture? If I'm from the old country, for lack of better words, for uh, first generation, you still have a very strong ties to that culture. Second generation gets watered down. So a lot of first generation, it's uh, is that culture. I'm not changing the culture. I can't change the culture. They'll change it after time, but I have to be aware of that. All right. So that takes care of that. So you have good. So then you look at these two videos, <coughs> and then you look. You go to the, the discussion board, and you'll do your homework and do everything else. And so when you're looking at this, one of the questions out in the discussion board, think about your project. You already came up with your business, what you're going to be doing. And so think about what kind of an organization should it have. Should it be more relationship? Remember, you got to have relationship. You have to have control. You have to have performance. And I forgot what the other one is uh, 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 on that uh, all right, uh, uh, but you have to have all of them, but which one are you going to be more focused on? If I'm doing something with quality control, very quality control, working for uh, uh, like Baxter Lab, very control, because you have to have that. You can't just, ah, uh, this close enough. Not like you're baking. You know, those who look at baking, you know, you look at the formula, the, 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 the cakes that taste better is like your mother-in-law or your mom. She just added a little a different, a little more. She just knew by the taste and would adjust it depending on the size. And then uh, pharmaceutical, it has to be exactly this amount because this is how much you sh your body should take. This is how much it's required. You can't go over. You could overdose or whatever. Are you okay? So you're doing pretty good. So uh, again, uh, uh, hang in there. And the, the discussion board's worth 15 points. This is a little bit more... Uh, 
<coughs> three chapters, and then your exam, you should do well, and I think everyone's doing pretty good. And uh, look, you uh, uh, look at your uh, overall grade, you're passing. So if you didn't do well on this exam, look at the next exam to see why you could uh, study a little different, and I'll try to get a hold of the publisher to see if uh, I could get um, uh, a, a YouTube explainer. It, it's really not that hard. Just go in there, and it's just uh, a pretest. And those, you, know, you could select, I want from chapter one, two, two. It doesn't say chapter one, so you have to know the heading. It's just the way it's set up. All right? So, again, my name is Dr. George Machaki. I'll see you in the discussion board. You're doing well in this class. Hang in there. Uh, uh, we're in week four. You only have uh, the, uh, eight more weeks, and you'll be done. All right? And remember, uh, you're, uh, uh, what I said, notice a correlation real quickly. If you have not been doing your Learn Smart assignments, your exams are low. I could tell you that. Those who are doing the Learn Smarts exam, exam discussing the chapters, in, reading the book, looking at my lectures, utilizing my concept map, and uh, having discussion within the classroom are doing, uh, you got my, uh, yeah, you're my B's and A's. All right? I'll see you later. I'll see how many minutes I got here. I think I went over a little bit. Ooh, 25. Well, because I explained the chapters on, on, on the videos, which I would in, in the classroom. Bye.